So, as it stands, Captain's crew have lost one brain from the final round, but Big Chris has fallen. Victim of Westlife. Uh, yes, uh, exactly. Knocked out by Take That. The next subject is geography. Who would like this? Geography. Well, did you do fancy it? Come on. Yeah, do you want to do it? It's not much of a What's gone? This is the only other one that's gone, isn't it? No, I'll do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Mark's gonna. Mark. Oh, Mark. Okay. Yeah. Our panel wire up against which egghead can be Lisa, Pat, or Kevin? Definitely. Lisa. Yeah. Lisa, then please. Didn't think that decision would take so long. <laughs> okay. Mark from Captain's Crew. Lisa from the Eggheads. Would you both please go to the question room now? Well, Lisa, I know we've joked about geography, but actually, you're on a winning streak. Yes, so the problem with you mentioning things like that before we play, Jeremy, is it, it usually signals the end of such things. Yes, oh, sorry, yes, that's true, I hadn't thought of that. But, it, of course, it all turned around after your dear mum gave you a map of Australia for Christmas. I'm still not thanking her for it. You can't make me. <laughs> How are you on Australia, Mark? Because we seem to have a, a bit of a difficult history with Australia in this round. Uh, not very good, so it could be interesting. OK, would you like to go first or second? Uh, I'll go first, please. Mark, which Italian city with a metropolitan population of more than three million lies within the possible eruption zone of the Mount Vesuvius volcano? Venice, Milan or Naples? Uh, I think I know this one and I'll go Naples, please. Naples is the right answer. Well done. Have you been there? No. I'd like to. OK. Lisa, the island of Tahiti is in which ocean? Is it Indian? Pacific or Arctic? I think Tahiti's a Caribbean one, so I think we can employ Keppel rules on this one. When in doubt, say Pacific. Keppel rules holding strong. Pacific is right. OK, Mark. The area of London called Fitzrovia that became known as a haunt of writers and artists borders on which famous thoroughfare? Strand, Park Lane or Oxford Street? I'm not really sure. It's going to be a guess. I should say Oxford Street. Yes, it is. You're right. It's very near where Radio 2 is, actually. But I think we might even be in it. OK. Lisa, your question. Spokane is the name of a city and a county in which state of the USA? Washington, Florida or Maine? Spokane. Now, before those came up, I had Spokane, Washington in my head. We'll stick with that, Washington. Yes, I had embarrassingly Spokane, Wyoming, so obviously I'm, I'm uh, not at the races today. Washington is right. Well done. I guess a Native American name, Eggheads? Yes. Would you say? Yeah. Like Cheyenne? Yeah, I think it is. OK, Mark, your third question can be crucial. In which Australian city is the district called Fortitude Valley famous for its shops and nightlife? Is this Perth, Sydney or Brisbane? Once again, it's going to be a stab in the dark, and I'll go straight down the middle and say Sydney. Do I dare ask you, Lisa, if he's right? <laughs> Do you really think I'll have a clue? On Australia, it's Brisbane, Mark. Sorry. So we get a Lisa who can take the round now. What is Aspatria? Is it a Cumbrian market town, suburb of Nottingham, or Devon fishing village? Will you spell it for me, please, Jeremy? Yeah, A-S-P-A-T-R-I-A, -A -A, Aspatria. It sounds like it ought to be a suburb. I've never heard of it in Nottingham, it's possible. Um, I'm really struggling with this because I really can't think of a way of getting any closer. Through any of them, Aspatria. Did it sound like anything? I don't think I can get any sort of derivation from it. I really don't know. I don't know. It, it sounds to me most like a suburb, so I'll say suburb of Nottingham with very little confidence. Mark, I wonder if you know this one. I don't think it's a suburb of Nottingham, but I'd have guessed on the Devon Bishop village. Yeah, it's it's a Cumbrian market town. Interesting. Yeah. It's a good question, isn't it? As yeah. Patriot is a Cumbrian market town. OK, so <sighs> scores are level after three questions. We go to sudden death, Mark. It gets a bit harder. I don't give you alternatives. What is the largest island of the Inner Hebrides? I have no idea. I couldn't even give you an answer. So it's a pass? Yeah. It's Skye. Isle of Skye. So Lisa, for the round, 
the world's longest mountain range, is on which continent? The longest mountain range. Oh. So I think I think the Himalayas is the highest. Don't think it's that. They're also pretty long, but they're in Europe, and you know Europe ain't spread out over a great deal of space. It must be between the Rockies and the Andes, but I don't know which one to pick. Between North America and South America, I suspect that there's probably an America in the answer. <sighs> North America. Hey kids. South America. South America. Ah! South America. Sudden death. Mark your question. Which strait connects the Black Sea to the Sea of Azov? I have no idea. Pass. It's the Kerch Strait. Lisa, for the round. Situated on two hills, divided by a deep ravine. The Spanish city of Ronda is located in which autonomous community? And Ronda, Lisa, is R-O-N-D-A. Which is fine, and I could tell you roughly where Rhonda is. I couldn't tell you what the autonomous community is at all. Um, don't really know. I don't really know what you'd be looking for as a name. Ross is going well, isn't it? Um, Southern Spain. No, I'm not going to come up with anything plausible for this. I'm sorry, I have to pass. Okay, Andalusia. Oh, okay. Mark, back to you. Sudden death. The Moroccan city of Fez, F-E-Z, is located in the basin of which major river? Um, i trying to think of a Moroccan river. I'm struggling. Uh, sorry, pass. No idea. Okay, it's the Cebu. S-E-B-O-U. Lisa, for the round. Sudden death. Mount Aripo. A-R-I-P-O, is the highest peak on which Caribbean island? I don't do mountains and I don't do rivers. I don't do seas. I don't do things that stick up or have water in them, basically. Which Caribbean island? Mount Aripo is the highest peak on which Caribbean island? Okay, seriously, there aren't that many to pick from. The only difficulty with that, of course, is... Is it the name of a country or is it like Hispaniola or something like that? Oh, God. I suppose it could just be Cuba. Should we try Cuba? No, Trinidad. Oh, OK. Mark, sudden death. What is the largest island in the Indian Ocean? It's going to be another stab in the dark, I think. I would say... Probably going to make yourself look very foolish with an answer here, but... Fiji. No, it's Madagascar. This for the round, Lisa. Sudden death. The Todd River, whose course goes through the heavy tree gap, is in which country? Is that Todd T O double D? Yeah. I bet it's Australia. And if it isn't Australia, it's my other nemesis, Canada. I'm not enjoying these 50 50s today. Really not. Todd River. I suppose it could be the US. Shall I avoid saying Australia or Canada just so I don't feel like an idiot for not picking the other one and say the US? Or shall I just say Australia because I should always say Australia wherever possible? Yeah, this, this, and this is not logic to get me to the right answer. It's just something to say. Um, I'll try Australia. Australia is the right answer. Well hey! done. You're through <laughs> on Australia. My goodness. How about that? Mark, you've been beaten on sudden death there. And you won't be in the final round, I'm sorry. Lisa, come back to us. <laughs> and we'll play the last round before the final. So, Captain's crew have lost two brains from the final round now. The eggheads have still just lost the one. And the last subject before the final is sport. Do we have a sporty person? 